Hi guys, I'm live <laughs> and I have a special guest to start us out. This is Bella, my Red Lord Amazon. And at some point she's gonna end up right on my shoulder. She's a cuddler, it's okay, I'm used to it. She gets tangled up in my hair, all sorts of funny things could happen tonight. But she's one of my guests um, and she's here right now. And then we're gonna have another guest um, at the end. My daughter, Melissa, will be coming and she's got some very exciting announcements to make. And I'm hoping that you guys will support her in that. That would be amazing. Um, I'm just going to let people know that we're here. So enjoy my parrot, Bella. And we will just do a little bit of letting people know we're here and we're going and this is going on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So if you're there, please say hi. So when I get right back, that I will know you're there. I am paying attention. Okay, there we go. So some of my friends maybe on um, Facebook now know we're on. It's okay if, uh, if we end up all on our own. <laughs> I've got lots planned and this should be pretty fun to watch later because today I am just going nuts. I, uh, <laughs> hey, we've got a few people here. I am dry pack canning candy. Yes, yes. I'm going to show you how to dry pack can. Um, I do lots of normal canning. Like, let me tell you, I, I grew up in a family where we, we put up peaches and apricots and pears and pickles and canned stew, all of those things. Um, but one thing um, that, you know, you, you don't have a lot of times when things are hard and you actually have to get into that canning is treats. And so today, since it's, you know, after uh, Valentine's Day, we're going to go ahead and show you how to preserve some of those treats so that you can put it by for later, a little provident living um, directives. And you can apply this to nuts, to different types of chips and things to keep them fresh. Um, it's not just for, you know, 30 year storage, <laughs> okay? So um, let me just introduce you to what I'm gonna can and the things I'm gonna try to can. And we are gonna test these later. Um, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping some of you guys will be interested in a game night. Now I have a few um, fun games picked out that I think that we can play here. Um, Oh, I know why I don't see anything because we're at top chat and I need to put it on live chat. I did that last time too. Um, okay. So, hey, Aidy, how are you? <laughs> now I see you. <laughs> so I picked up this game. Um, it's, it's nope. And yeah, it's, it's one of those games that you play with friends, um, you know, three to eight. We're kind of like that at this chat at this moment. But even if it's just, you know, random people playing, it might be kind of fun. I'm thinking maybe for next week. So I'm going to prepare you and you guys can let me know which game you'd like to play. This one's called Yeah and Nope, I think. Yeah and Nope. I should have got my glasses. Um, it's the tell all party game of what happened and how. Have you told off a boss? <laughs> Put on your poker face and watch your friends try to uncover the details. Well, it's kind of easy. I'm the only one who'll have the poker face going and I'm pretty easy to read. So maybe not this one. <laughs> I don't know, but it sounded really fun to just read through the scenarios, think about it and discuss it as we're talking. Um, just to get to know each other a little better. I thought it might be kind of fun. If you're, you know, up for that, I mean, I just have had so much fun with the, um, with the universal yams that I just want to do some more of that kind of stuff if you're interested. Um, all righty, so I've also got, I just grabbed some random games because we have lots of games, lots of card games, but six kids, it's hard to get together and do fun things. I don't think this one will work, but I thought it was cool. Look at that, it's a kitty game. Uh, it's cranium, so maybe, what is the age limit? Age recommended ages eight and up. So maybe, maybe we could play meow. <laughs> Sounds good, Aidy. Awesome. 
<laughs> so uh, this is another one I found, uh, Anomia. Actually, these were on sale at, um, I want to say Chapters, but it's not called Indigo, I think. Um, and think, shout, and laugh. So you hold up a card and the first one basically to shout out the answer gets a point or is the winner or whatever for that round. Um, it sounds really fun. So like, so have you ever thought about the fact that our minds are positively brimming with all sorts of random information? Things to eat, pop singers, websites, etc. Normally it's easy to give an example of a frozen food or a dog breed, but you can, but can you do it before your opponent has a chance to blurt out their answer? <laughs> <laughs> so because I'm here and there's no lag time, I'll give you guys always like a five second head start to type, right? So you have time to type it just in case you were a faster thinker than me, or maybe 10 seconds, depends. Um, <laughs> just want to make it fun. This, this seemed like a really fun game. Um, so what I'll do, I think I told you guys about timeline. Timeline is kind of like a trivial, you know, when things happened kind of thing. It's kind of fun too. Um, if you're not up for that, well, we have the ABC Dora Explorer. <laughs> Slide and learn. <laughs> just kidding. I just thought that and I got to bring it down. <laughs> and then there's this game that I don't even know what I bought it for. Um, it's called Set. The family game, probably because it's a family of visual something. Can you read that? I don't know, I'll look it up. I'll learn the rules and so I'll teach you how to play the game before we even um, start. But I just thought that would be fun. Maybe next week we could start that. Um, yeah, so today, today I have planned dry pack canning. Have any of you done dry pack canning? Anybody? Where you take just a jar, fill it with nuts, and then seal it, no water, nothing, just dry. Have any of you ever done that before? Because there's a couple of different ways you can do it. This is the way we're gonna do it today, which is using canny jars. Uh, and I think I've shown you um, how I do this with my soap, my liquid soap, because I like to keep it fresh. Usually what you see when you see canning, you'll see something like this. This is actually sea pickles. <laughs> I made, um, so you've never done it, Adi? This, this will be a treat for you then. Um, I made them with uh, the bulk kelp. So those big, long, huge seaweed on the beach. Um, I went and got some when they were in season and I canned them. And they're kind of neat because they're like round little things. They're actually really pretty good. These are sweet and spicy. Anyway, that's something cool. Um, so yeah, I do a lot of canning. So this is probably the canning you're used to. Things like this is this is a water bath canning, or you can do it in a steam bath. Um, but basically, you know, you have to have water and headspace. You clean everything, sterilize everything, put it in your food, and then you process it for um, you know 20 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever that particular thing says it needs. Um, this is different. Now, um, do any of you have a food saver? Okay, I'm guessing no. So let me show you the equipment you're gonna need to do this. Oh, let me turn on the lights, it's getting dark. That didn't help a lot, but it helped a little bit. So I plugged it in, it's right here. I'm just gonna turn the computer a little bit so you can see what a food saver looks like. And this one has strips on it, sorry, you don't see that, right? Anyway, this is a food saver and it's got a, like here's how you turn it on. So you just turn it on like that. Pull it over a little more. You just turn it on like that. Okay, off, on. And then there's this accessory button right here. Well, that works with this little tool at the bottom. Stop. <laughs> this little tool at the bottom. All right, and I have a special little cap, which of course I didn't bring over here right away. <laughs> you make mustard pickles and dill pickles? Yum, Corrine. Well, we're gonna be canning candy. I just gotta go grab the, the little lids for this. I'll let Bella entertain you for a few minutes, for a few seconds. You'll be good, okay, baby? 
But of course, of course, I didn't bring the most important thing, the canning bits. Okay, so this goes with the food saver. These are a jar, jar sealers, all right? And they attach, let me show you. Back a little, give me a little room. 